Welcome to Everyday Linux User. Today I am going to show you how to turn your computer into a Chromebook. Why would you want to do this, you might ask? Well, Windows 10 is coming to an end, and not all computers are Windows 11 compatible. And if you aren't keen on using Linux, then the next best mainstream operating system to use is Chrome OS. Now, Chrome OS gives you access to all your favorite Google apps, as well as providing a clean, easy to use desktop experience. For this guide you will need the following. So you will need either a blank USB drive or a USB drive that can be wiped without losing important data. You will also need a computer to put Chrome OS Flex onto. You can create the USB drive and try Chrome OS Flex without installing first. But if you want to install Chrome OS Flex then it's probably worth backing up everything on the computer you plan to put Chrome OS Flex onto as the data will be wiped. I have linked a guide in the description which will show you how to back up all your files and your operating system. The first thing we are going to do is create the Chrome OS Flex USB drive. I'm going to show you how to do this using Windows. If you are using Linux then look at the linked video in the description that shows how to create a bootable USB drive using Linux. So open a web browser and go to chromeos.com forward slash google forward slash intl forward slash en underscore uk forward slash products forward slash chrome os hyphen flex now this may differ for you depending where you are in the world i will link the link in the description on the video or you can google it so when you get to this page click on the try chrome os flex option the page has a sign up form but if it is for personal use or home use you can simply click on the click here option which is near the top of the page you are now at a Chrome OS installation page. Again, I have linked this in the description. This page tells you what you need to run Chrome OS Flex. You need a USB drive with 8GB of space, a 64-bit computer, 4 gigabits of RAM and 16 gigabytes of disk space. So click on the next one, create the USB installer link. This page goes into detail about using the Chrome OS recovery tool to create the USB drive. But we won't be using that, we are going to do a more manual route. So scroll down the page to the download from Google section and click on the Chrome OS Flex installer image. This will download the latest image for Chrome OS. Whilst that is downloading we also need to get a tool for creating a bootable USB drive. There are many tools out there including Ventoy and Rufus, but for this guide we will be using Belina Etcher, which is a simple and easy tool for creating bootable USB drives. So open another browser tab and go to etcher.io. Click on download Etcher, then click on the download link for Windows. Wait for the Chrome OS image and Etcher to download and when they are complete close the browser. Open Windows Explorer and go to the Downloads folder and double click on the Chrome OS zip file. Select the file within the folder and then click Extract and this will extract the image. At this point make sure the USB drive you are going to be using is inserted into the computer. Now double click on the Blina Etcher file that was downloaded and wait until you see this screen. Click on flash from file button and navigate to the downloads folder and open the Chrome OS folder that was extracted and select the file that's within it and then click open. Click on select target and place a check in the box next to the USB drive you wish to write to. Then click on flash. You will be asked are you sure by Windows and you should select yes to this. The writing of the image took quite some time on my machine a lot longer than Linux in fact and it was about 45 minutes before it was completed. When it is complete you can insert the USB drive into the machine you wish to put Chrome OS onto. But remember to back up that machine first. Start the computer and press the function key that brings up the boot menu. On my machine it is F7 but this differs from manufacturer to manufacturer. You can use Google to find the correct button for the make and model of your PC. Select your USB drive from the list. Chrome OS Flex will now boot from the USB drive. Choose your language and keyboard layout by selecting them from the lists that are provided. 
then click Get Started. If you just want to try Chrome OS Flex without installing it, you can do this. Uh, just click the Try It First option. However, if you are sure you want to install it, click on Install Chrome OS Flex. A warning will appear telling you your drive will be wiped. This really is your last opportunity to cancel if you are unsure. If you want to continue, then click Install. Chrome OS will now install itself on your computer and this can take about 20 minutes or so. When it is complete, you will see the installation complete message. Reboot your computer and remove the USB drive. Your computer will now boot straight into Chrome OS Flex. You will have to select your language and keyboard layout again as it doesn't remember it during installation. And again click get started. The first thing you'll be asked to do is select a Wi-Fi network. So choose a network and enter the password for the Wi-Fi network you have chosen. It will now say getting the device ready which again can take a few minutes. You now have to choose what the device is for. Is it for general personal use? If it is choose the top option and there are also options for child use and for work. It will now check for updates and install them. Again this can take a while. Finally you will need to sign into Chrome OS. It requires a Google account. If you haven't got one then you can easily sign up for one. And there is a link in the description for signing up for an account. Enter your username and password and if you have two factor authentication on you will need to authenticate using your mobile or whichever method you used for two factor authentication. You will now have to pretend to read the terms and condition and accept them. And I have probably just accidentally sold my house to Donald Trump for a dollar. You can sync your Chrome OS Flex with your Google accounts, which is good if you use calendars, emails, etc. And it brings down your bookmarks. It will now ask you about data collection and I will let you decide how much data you want to donate to Google, although they probably already have it all anyway. You can now decide whether to sign in using your Google account password or a local password on this machine. Personally, I recommend just using the Google account password because it saves trying to remember two things. We are getting there now and we're almost done. You are given a bit of information about Gemini, which is Google's AI tools, and you can choose the size of your text and icons. If you keep clicking next, you will be shown a screen where you can choose between dark light and default themes. Don't worry if you choose the wrong one, you can always change this later on. It then says you are ready, and you are. You will now be at the Chrome OS Flex screen and you can start using the operator system. All of your favourite Google tools are included and there are links to Spotify and other common sites. In an upcoming video I will be reviewing Chrome OS Flex and showing off some of the features. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video give it a big thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I've also set up a Facebook group for the everyday Linux user and that's so that you can discuss the videos, leave comments and it's a more community driven place for you to chat about the content you have just seen. But for now that is the end of the video, thank you for watching.